it's Kerry. It looks like we're in for some trouble at the end again. I have an amazing box of toys to show you today. Subscribe and give a thumbs up if you like animals. Can you tell me, did Baryonyx mainly eat fish or meat? Andrew Circus was five meters long from nose to tail. It walked on four short legs and had a long body and a long tail and feet with hoofed toes. It had a long snout with large sharp teeth which you can see right now and flat cheek teeth that helped to grind and crush up the bones. Its teeth and jaws were very strong and its skull measured three feet or one meter long. Triceratops, my favorite ceratopsian and this is a great model. Lots of good detail and it's quite a large size and a little heavy. You can see the three horns on its face there. If under attack, Triceratops would charge much like a modern day rhinoceros. Indominus Rex. Well, she was a very pale greenish colour which she didn't like. So we tried camouflage colours, you know the khaki greens and all that, but she didn't like that much. And then she told me blue was the colour she wanted to be, with red claws. So this is her new look and she really loves it. To be one of the first viewers to find out about new videos, click on the bell icon next to my subscribe button on my channel and enable notifications. blue crab is named after its blue coloured claws. Females have a reddish tint on the tips of their pincers. They are excellent swimmers with specially adapted hind appendages that are shaped like paddles. To defend themselves they use their sharp front pincers. Large mouths can reach 9 inches or 23 centimetres in shell width. They are found in shallow tidal waters. The large mouth bass the habitat for the largemouth bass is freshwater lakes and rivers. It likes quiet and clear water but can survive in other habitats. It generally hides under cover, below logs, bridges, rock ledges and anything that will help protect and conceal it. I really like the colours of the scales on this fish. It's beautiful. The hammerhead shark is very unusual looking. They use their wide set eyes to give them a better field of vision. The hammer shaped head has sensory organs that help them to detect prey. It can even find stingrays buried in the sand. The mouth is located on the underside of the head. It has sharp, triangular and serrated teeth. I think you all know that this Jaws model is a favourite of mine. I really like the way the mouth opens and it can swallow a small fish whole. This particular Jaws toy is made by a brand called Funko. And look at those teeth, you can see the different rows in there. Jurassic Park Tyrannosaurus. You can see the small arms, the arms and legs move, and when you move the tail, the mouth opens and the head moves.
Stegosaurus. This particular one came with my volcano set. You can see the four spikes on the tail there and all the plates in two lines across its back and tail. It's quite a nice colour and quite a nice model. This is a bull shark. They are quite dangerous sharks because they can be found in seawater and also in estuaries and in fresh water. Chronosaurus, have a look at those jaws and teeth. What a great model. It swam with its flippers much like a turtle. It was a short necked plaisal growing up to 30 feet or 9 meters. They lived in the ocean and came to the surface to breathe air. Their strong teeth and jaws could crush shells. The octopus. They are able to squeeze into small cracks and crevices to escape predators. That's a very handy thing. I quite like this model. It's quite soft and rubbery. It feels much like an octopus would. When they're discovered, an octopus will release a cloud of black ink to make its escape. use their big tusks to brush away snow in search of food and to deter potential predators and to attract mates. Mammoths had thick skin that secreted an oily substance that covered their long coats and insulated them from the cold. They also evolved smaller ears and shorter tails to conserve heat. This is Blue the Velociraptor from Jurassic World. What a great model. He makes noise as well. And you can see he's got that sickle claw on the back foot there. It's rather a nice model. dinosaur that lived during the early Cretaceous period. It was primarily a fish eater. It had a very narrow skull and the upper jaw contained a sharp angle near the snout that helped to prevent prey from escaping, much like a crocodile. Notice the small triangular crest on the top of the snout there. Megalodon is a prehistoric monster shark that first appeared about 20 million years ago. It is the largest prehistoric shark to have ever existed and one of the most powerful predators on earth. Pteranodon. This was a huge flying reptile painted mine so it's not the original colours and you can see in the chest there that little bit that opens and shuts. I like the way the legs move and the wings and head go up and down. It really does look like it's flying. Let's try it out. Cryolophosaurus lived during the early Jurassic period. 
I really like the distinctive bony forward facing fan shaped crest on its head. On this one it's painted blue and looks rather spectacular. It was one of the largest theropods of its time. the largest of the big cats. I really like this jumbo model. It feels really nice to touch and it's not too heavy. Tigers are solo hunters and like to stalk their prey and take it by surprise. They also love swimming in the water and also use that as a way to get prey as well. The right whale are the rarest of all large whales. There are several species and they can all be identified by their enormous heads which can measure up to one third of their total body length. The massive head and jaws accommodate hundreds of baleen plates which they use for filter feeding. Jurassic World Gyrosphere. Press the little button on top to open the door in the front flap and you can shoot missiles from the top. And there it goes. is the unicorn of the sea. This medium sized whale is found in arctic coastal waters and rivers. They have two teeth. In males the more prominent tooth grows into a sword like spiral tusk up to 8.8 .8 feet or 2.7 meters long. Females may grow a much smaller tusk. Spinosaurus, such a unique looking dinosaur. I would like to think that the sail may have been brightly coloured like the fins of some modern day reptiles. Spinosaurus was an advanced theropod whose intelligence was high among the dinosaurs. Tyrannosaurus. This is a beautiful model, lots of feathers and beautiful colours. Tyrannosaurus probably lived in the forest where its prey, which were plant eating dinosaurs, could find plenty of food. Tyrannosaurus had a great sense of smell. The tail was used as a counterbalance for its enormous head and for agility and to help make quick turns. A truly amazing dinosaur. Here's trouble. Thank you for watching my video. It really helps if you can share my videos on any of the social media sites that you like to visit. See you again soon.